What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video and in today's video, we're actually gonna be going back to the TC and we're gonna be putting on a new NRG radiator diversion panel. I've actually had this for probably three to four years now. Um, I had it hydro dipped probably two years ago and I just never got around to getting to put it on the car. Um, I've always just been doing other stuff with football and college and everything else. So figured we'd jump back to the TC and give you guys what you want and uh, do a short little install for you. So let's go ahead and we'll get to it. All right, guys. So like I said before, this is the NRG uh, radiator diversion panel or air diversion panel. Um, there is other brands that that make these air diversion panels. I think JDM Password actually has like the most, you know, famous one per se. Um, it's the carbon fiber one and it's kind of like rounded up on the top of it. Um, but as you can see right here, right here is kind of what the panel does. Here's what the car looks like before. It's kind of just opened and it kind of looks unfinished looking. Um, the main reason why I want to get it in there is because I think it'll make it look more finished, like how this does, and not just opened. Um, but the main thing that it's supposed to do is it actually forces more air straight into your radiator because if air is going in the grill right here, it can escape kind of up and over top of the radiator instead of going in. But if you have this panel here, um, it's got to all go directly in your radiator. So let's go ahead and I'll take it out. Um, this is a stainless steel finish when it when it comes from them. But like I said before, I had it hydro dipped so it would match the valve cover in the car. So let's go ahead and I'll put the camera back down and we'll unbox this. So as you guys will notice on this side, this will be the stainless steel side um, because he didn't hydro dip both sides. So this is kind of the finish that you'll get. Um, it's actually a little bit dingier on this side than it would be straight from them. It's actually a lot shinier and kind of looks chrome uh, from them, but I hadn't cleaned it up or anything since he hydro dipped it. So let's go ahead and we'll take it the rest of the way out here. All right, so as you guys can see, if you've been watching the channel for a while, it matches our valve cover perfectly. And then right here you have your little NRG badge. And this badge, kind of how shiny it is, is how the whole thing looked before. Um, like I said before, I hadn't cleaned this back side any since he hydro dipped it. So let's go ahead and we will start taking the bolts off the car and we'll put this on. So as you guys can see, this is how it kind of sits in the car. And there's the hydro dip compared to the valve cover. And as you guys can see, the heat right in here kind of cracked it a little bit. So we might have to get the valve cover redone, but this has actually been on the car for about two years because I had this and it's both done at the same time, but I actually put that back on. So we're gonna have to take off, you know, your plastic clips here, here and here. And then you've got two smaller ones there and there. And then you have your radiator supports arms right here you're going to have to take this bolt out and then there's two little bolts right here and right here and then of course your radiator support on this side so one real quick thing before we get started you're going to want a 10 millimeter for the small bolts a half inch for the uh, bigger radiator support bolts or you can use a 12 millimeter i believe and then this is good for getting your plastic clips out so you don't break them so let's go ahead and we'll take all of those out what we do here is go back 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 All right, so as you guys can see now, we've got our plastic clips out, all the bolts, plastic clip, bolts, and the other plastic clip. So the only thing that's gonna be left here, and I don't really know what this clip does or what its purpose is, but I'm gonna leave it in there because it's actually clipped in from the bottom. So when you put this NRG air diversion panel on, you can just slide it down over top of this one. Okay, so one thing I wanna show you guys before we start mounting anything up, is I actually got these JDM 
uh, speed. There's like some cheap dress up bolts off of Amazon, I believe. I've actually had these as long as I've had everything else, so I'm not exactly sure where I got them at, but I'll try to put the links for everything in this video in the description below. Um, and then what I also went ahead and got was these are actually some little rubber washers. So what I want to do is I kind of want to try to protect that hydro dipping because around that, the radiator bracket, um, the way that whole square sits down and crushes down on it, as you can see right here, um, this whole piece right here is actually going to sit down and crush down on top of that. And when it crushes down, I'm afraid it's going to crack our hydro dipping. So what I did was I just got that little rubber washer and that'll actually let it compress down. So, and then also when I'm tightening it up really tight, it won't twist the hydro dipping either or crack it that way. But I actually got some for the smaller bolts too, but I don't know if we're gonna use those because I remembered that I had these dress up bolts. So that way we can actually just use those and I just won't tighten them down as tight. So I think I'm gonna use this bigger one for the radiator support, but I'll let you guys know which one I use. But here's the sizes of them. Right there's the smaller one, and here's the little bit bigger one. But these are at Lowe's if you guys need these. So one other thing I was going to tell you guys as well. So my dress-up bolts, they're actually only going to go in this bolt hole and this one. And then I actually just figured out that this is where those little plastic clips were, and I'm actually going to put the dress-up bolts in there too because it's going to make it look a lot nicer than having those little plastic clips. And with that little metal barrier in between and now i don't know if the clips will actually clip in all the way so we're actually going to use these i just kind of drilled it out a little bit more but same thing and it's going to look a lot nicer uh, before i don't know what you guys will have right here and right here um, this bumper has actually been hit before so i've had to get it replaced and that's just what they had put in there from the body shop so just letting you guys know that before let's go ahead and start mounting it on All right, guys, so I'm sorry that I couldn't show you the whole thing. We don't have our lovely assistant today, um, but let's go over and check out what it looks like. So, like I said, we put in our plastic clip. This is actually what supports your hood when it shuts. Um, the little bolt that we replaced, which looks like this right here, is now this nice, pretty dress-up bolt. As you can see, it makes it look a lot cleaner inside the engine bay. I actually need to go back and paint these or actually get some aftermarket um, radiator supports to make it look a little nicer. Um, that would be really cool. So as you can see right here, we actually have the dress up bolt here now instead of this little bitty clip. This is what was on it before, which just kind of looks ratty. So went ahead and put a dress up bolt on that there. We've got our center clip for the front bumper here. Another dress up bolt right here, which is where that little clip was. This is where your bolt was radiator support again and then your little hood support bumper so as you guys can see there's kind of what it looks like together obviously in here this is actually a lot dingier because this is all dirty i haven't cleaned the car in a while um, we need to go ahead and this has been orange black silver it's been every color but i think we're actually going to take it back to silver again so it can kind of match the strut bar right up here um just kind of make it look nicer a little cleaner we need to sandblast this thing down because it's getting a little bit of rust on it or we just need to slap a turbo on it that'd be a lot better a nice new shiny stainless steel manifold would look a heck of a lot better than the stupid heat shield but anyway guys as you can see right here a lot nicer looking so if you guys are thinking about getting this one i would say pull the trigger it makes the car look a lot nicer and so just having this big open hole right in here and i'm really interested to see if i can actually tell a difference on my temp gauge uh to see if it actually makes the car run a little cooler so i guess i'll update you guys on that in a future video all right guys so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope that kind of got your sweet tooth a little bit for the tc you guys have been asking to see a video of it for a while so i've had that laying in the back corner for a long time three years now like i told you before so i thought i'd go ahead and put it on and make the TC look a little nicer again. Um, I love this car to death. 
I'm just running out of stuff to do to it and I want to do a lot of stuff to it but some of the stuff is very expensive and like you guys know we're trying to get a house right now so that way we can have a garage and make more in-depth cool videos and get back to the rebuild so if you guys will just hang in there with me for a little while um, we'll be able to do some cooler stuff like hopefully turbo this car different things like that but anyway guys please make sure you subscribe to the channel so we can do all the cool things all the rebuilds all that stuff that we want to do it'll really help me out um, and also like the video if you liked it and comment um, You know there might be cooler dress-up bolts or a different way you can do something and it'll help somebody else that's watching the video So anyway guys peace out and remember build your masterpiece